Absolute value equations. Solve the absolute value equation. And you are given the following equation located below, which comes out to 2 times the absolute value of 2x minus 5 plus 1 equals 7. Now, I want you to take a second and think about this problem. Think about how you would solve it. And if you get stuck on this problem, here are a couple steps. So let's look at the first step. The first thing you want to do is isolate the absolute value expression on one side of the equation. This is the absolute value expression. So you want it isolated all by itself and you're going to use inverse operations. So the first thing we're going to do is subtract one from both sides of the equation. Subtract one from both sides. Positive one and negative one cancel out. And now you're left with 2 times the absolute value of 2x minus 5 equals 6. And again, we want to use inverse operations. So let's divide both sides by 2. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. 2 and 2 cancel each other out. And then you're left with the following. Absolute value of 2x minus 5 equals 3. Notice the absolute value is isolated. The absolute value expression is isolated. So we can check off step 1 and move on to step 2. If the expression equals a negative number, then it's a no solution. So let's take a look here. It equals positive 3. 3 is a positive number. So there is a solution. So now we're going to check off step number 2 and go on to step number 3, which is rewrite equations as one positive and one negative solution. So for example, let's separate into a positive solution, 2x minus 5 equals 3. Let's also separate into a negative solution, 2x minus 5 equals negative 3. We can then check off step number 3 and move on to step number 4, which is solve both equations. So let's do that. We're going to use inverse operations. So let's add 5 to both sides of the equation. Positive 5 and negative 5 will cancel out. And you're left with 2x equals 8. Again, you want to use inverse operations. So let's divide by 2 to both sides of the equation. Positive 2, negative 2 cancel each other out. And you're left with x equals 4. Now we have to do the same thing to our other equation. Add 5 to both sides of the equation. Positive 5 and negative 5 cancel each other out. Divide both sides by 2. Two and two cancel each other out. And you're left with x equals one. So now let's check off. And now we'll go on to number five, which says to just basically check for extraneous solutions. So we'll take our solutions, which were four and one, and we're gonna plug them in. So we'll take four. We're going to plug it in. And let's not forget it's it's 2 times x, so it's 2 times 4. And if you work that out, it's going to work out. Eventually it's going to equal 7. Do the same thing with 1. Plug in 1 for x. And if you work that out, 
it'll check out as well. So now we've checked for extraneous solutions. And you've done a great job.